We have two kinds of works. Works in scripture. The creative works. That's the creation. Where God created. You see, on this, uh, God finished his work on the sixth day and he rested on the seventh day. We are still in that creation. We are part of that creation. We are living in that creation. We have not exhausted it and we cannot exhaust it. So that's one kind of work. Then there's another kind of work again we see in scripture. It is the relational works of God. What I mean by the relational works of God is uh, the things that God does as he relates with men. Those things too are called works. So in both contain instructions for man. Both show the ways of God and the wisdom we need for our lives today on earth. The creative works of God and the relational works of God. There are a lot of things we learn beholding the creation. And there's so much we learn as well beholding the works of God in men, in, in, men, in people. That's what I call the, the relational works of God. When God relates with a man, there we learn a lot of truth about God. So looking at creation, we learn a lot of things about God. And then looking at when God relates with a man, God's relationship with a person, when we looked at that relationship very well, there are a lot of things we see about God. We see a lot of truth about God. In the Bible, what we have a scripture is God working with men. God dealing with men. We read, we behold it and we behold God. We see God in new light and, and then in a stronger perspective. Praise the Lord. So God relates with a man and then we learn truth about him. There we see the relational works of God as important as the creative works of God. So the works of God is not limited to creation alone. Creation is one aspect of work. We will see higher works in God's relationship with people. In the relational works of God. 